Hello and welcome to Dubai Aerospace 2000, the sixth show of its kind and the first in the brand new custom-built exhibition centre right next door to the International Airport here, which has been created with an investment of $100 million. His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, head of Dubai's Civil Aviation Department, describes it as a world-class venue and that it most certainly is. I'd like to welcome you all to uh, Dubai Aerospace 2000 and also to our new facility at the Dubai Exhibition Center. The government wants Dubai to be the most desirable and efficient meeting place for the aviation industry of the Middle East and has secured its position with a massive investment in top-class facilities. The organizers say that the new showground is in a class of its own set to rival facilities at Farnborough, Paris and Singapore. Dubai Aerospace 2000 is opened by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and Minister of Defence for the UAE. After cutting the ceremonial ribbon at the entrance to the Royal Pavilion, Sheikh Mohammed takes his distinguished guests on a tour of the aircraft park and the exhibition halls. Gone are the days when the Dubai Air Show served just Middle East. Here's one of the most unusual rotary wing machines to be seen at the show. It's propelled by tiny jets located at the tips of the rotor blades that are fueled by hydrogen peroxide. Weighing about 500 grams each, they have no moving parts, yet provide the same power as a 100 horsepower conventional engine. These simple rockets replace complex and expensive equipment associated with a normal helicopter. So where does the Firebird fit in? So it's not an helicopter. The concept is to fill in gap. You want to fill in gap between a motorcycle and something flying, like a helicopter. This machine can be flown safely by a non-pilot after only a few hours of training, say the manufacturers. It is fully controlled by a single lever called a monotrel. That's because the usual turning torque of a shaft-driven helicopter does not occur. Thanks to the lightweight power system, the Firebird offers a higher payload than more conventional machines and has a maximum operating ceiling of 30,000 feet. Advantageously, it has virtually no radar or infrared signature and runs with a low noise level. What is a typical mission? The customer tells us what kind of mission he wants to perform. And according to the mission, we tell him, use this part, this component, this component. The design of the Firebird is simple, it's easy to fly and is extremely manoeuvrable. The operational costs are low and it offers a variety of useful roles. 